So did you know I actually own a computer? I know, crazy right? So I was taking a look around the internet and I found out, hey, look at that, the Steam sale's starting up and I was just thinking, man, I should totally buy some of these games with all these great bargains and whatnot. So I've got 2615 in my account, I'm looking to buy a bunch of games, maybe two, maybe three, maybe four, maybe five. I don't know, let's see how it ends up. But, in conclusion, this is my 2016 Steam Summer Sale Review. Please enjoy! The first game I knew I'd be buying this year during the sale was Duck Game. Ever since Steam had that free weekend, it's been sitting in my library, not being played, until now. So now's my chance to buy it on discount. And how is it, you ask? It's pretty good. Duck Game is a fast-paced comedic arena shooter with ducks, and honestly, that alone should be enough to sell you on this game. Matches normally last from 10 seconds to 2 minutes, keeping the game from getting boring, and the controller support makes the game two times better. And while the online multiplayer is fun with randos, it's best to play this with friends, either locally or online. If you play enough, you can discover different ways to use weapons, like throwing a sword instead of swinging at someone to get long-range attacks. Overall, Duck Game is a crazy experience best played with others. For the price of $9.37, I'd say buy it as soon as possible. Robot Roller Derby Disco Dodgeball is a mouthful. Basically, Disco Dodgeball is to dodgeball as Rocket League is to soccer. It reinvents a sport using lots of flashing lights and colors and cool, cool music. And like Duck Game, it's fast-paced and better played with friends. One of the best parts of the game, in my opinion, is that you can import your own music files into the game to listen to them while you play. Personally, I recommend Daft Punk and Space Jam. So for 351, Robot Roller Derby Disco Dodgeball is a steal and you should definitely pick it up. Quantum Conundrum is a portal wannabe that actually succeeds at what it's trying to do. The core gameplay mechanic is that you can switch between four different dimensions and use this ability to solve numerous puzzles. Basically, you can make everything super light, super heavy, upside down, or very, very slow. The art style is very bright and exciting, and there's a lot of cool details you can find by switching dimensions. However, every once in a while the gameplay gets a bit stale and boring. Despite this, clever comedy and originality makes it an enjoyable experience. You know what I miss? Keytars. They always make music so much better. Oh, but I digress. So if you've got some spare change in your account and you enjoyed playing Portal, then you should definitely take a look at Quantum Conundrum for $249. Speedrunners is pretty damn good. It's a party game where your objective is to race other people and cut them off until you're the only one left. It's actually a pretty cool concept, as you have to learn about your surroundings on your first few times through so you can outrun other players. The soundtrack and art style are both really great, and like most of these games, it's a lot better to play with friends. Overall, this game is pretty much Mario Kart, but instead of driving around in cars with Mario, you're just this guy. Running. you this guy running. Speedrunners is on for 424 right now, and I say if you and some friends are interested, buy it. Spelunky is very difficult. It's a roguelike dungeon crawler with a cutesy art style and an unforgiving layout. To be more specific, when I was first playing it, I felt like the whole game was really unfair, like really difficult, kind of dumb at some parts. But then I remembered something. This exact same thing happened when I was first playing The Binding of Isaac Rebirth, one of my favorite PC games. 
so by that I can assume that in time the game will get easier for me and more fun as I progress further. Whining and complaining aside, Spelunky's a really good game. There's a lot of different parts to it, including exploration, completion, getting abilities, and even a multiplayer option for up to four players. Spelunky is currently available for $3.39, and I'd say get it as soon as you can. It's definitely worth looking at. So, in the end, what did I think of the Steam sale this year? In terms of games? I'm pretty satisfied, I'm glad I got those games, and I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun with them in the future. But in terms of the sale? This is not how to Steam sale! Where are the mini games? Where are the daily deals? Where is the community choice stuff? And why is everything so damn expensive? Like, Terraria is on for $5.49, I bought that for $2.74 last year, this is like twice that! What happened to the Steam I used to know? In June of 2015. Jokes aside, the sale was kinda disappointing, but I'm still satisfied, and in the end I give this sale probably like a 7 out of 10 overall, or an 8 maybe. All the games were good, so why not? Oh, one last thing. Psychonauts is on for a dollar, you should go get it. Hey, how's it going? Once again, thank you for watching all the way to the end. The new video is already in the works and hopefully should be out in the next couple of weeks. So, get ready for that. I just thought I'd make this to fill the void because I haven't had a video in a little bit. So if you're still impatient, go ahead and watch some of my other videos. And if you're really impatient, go check out this website called LimitedLives.com. It's a website full of people who make content like I do. Video game funny reviews, whatever that stuff, you know. Everyone on there is great at making content and you should totally go look at that website and check some of those guys out. But until then, see you next time.